Our food system is completely broken. It's impacting our health. It's impacting our environment. It's causing social injustice. The food system is one of the most exploitative and corrupt systems on the planet. And our future depends on us making changes. As a former cattle rancher myself, there's a lot of farmers just like us that want out of the egregious animal ag business, but the government doesn't give them easy options. The big problem is that our government is subsidizing modern industrialized animal agriculture, factory farming, with literally hundreds of billions of dollars. That means that our taxes are paying livestock and dairy farmers to the point that there isn't supply and demand, and so our voices can't be heard through our consumer dollars. They're getting so much of our money from our tax dollars, they can literally do whatever they want. They can price their product however they want. They can throw out the product because they know that they're continuously going to receive a profit. While we struggle fighting food insecurity, fighting heart disease, diabetes, obesity, high blood Blood pressure. With all of those subsidies, when you go to the store or you go to a fast food restaurant and you know your burger might be $1.99 but the salad is $7, it does beg the question, are, are they trying to kill us? If we do not deal with the U.S. government's massive subsidy of industrialized animal agriculture, it could literally mean the difference between extinction and survival. Now that we know that the food system is rigged, we need to get political. Going vegan is not enough. You have to take your voice to Washington. And so when I learned about the Agriculture Fairness Alliance, it was a no-brainer that I had to join forces with them because it's the only vegan-backed lobbying group out there. When I found out about them, I thought, well, yeah, thank God it's about time that somebody's fighting this fight. And AFA is going right in there and striking at the heart of the problem, the farm bill. The next farm bill will set the stage for the next five to 10 years of farm policy. If we want access to healthy food that is affordable, if we want protection for our environment, the legislation is being shaped now. And this is our opportunity. The farm bill comes up for renewal in 2023 and will determine where hundreds of billions of dollars will go. Will it continue to subsidize a system that is destroying our planet? Or will it go to foods that humans consume that will allow us to thrive? So it's important we hire lobbyists so that your tax dollars will go towards transitioning farms that want to go from animal ag to plant-based farming. The work that AFA does is so critical. It means standing up for social justice. It means standing up for fairness. I'm glad somebody has taken this on and they've got what it takes. Our one lobbyist already drove in relationships that created federal language in the last year, and now it's time to scale. That's why when I heard AFA is raising money to get lobbyists into the halls of Congress, I said, I'm in, I'm donating, because there's no more important thing I can do with my money. We cannot support this industry unconditionally any longer. We need to change history right now.